Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there, especially those who like out-of-the-park baseball. <clears throat> it's me, Sports Band Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here with my next Kansas City Royals game in my Kansas City Royals season. We are in the 2025, I'm doing the Kansas City Royals playthrough, we are in the 2025 season. We started in 2023. And uh, actually, I can go to my managerial page here, my uh, history, and you can see what we have been doing. In 2023, we were a somewhat respectable for Kansas City, 70 and 92. But then we slipped all the way to 50 and 104 in 2024. And so far in 2025, we are doing even worse than that, and we're at 19 and 40. We haven't even won a third of our games. So um, that's, uh, you know, not very good. And in fact, down here you can see where it says who's hot, it says nobody. You don't want that ever. But then on top of that, it says who's not. And then you got four bad pitchers, four really bad pitchers. So, um, yeah, it is, uh, it's not good. It's not going well here. And we are starting a three-game set against the Padres. So today, their starter is going to be Victor Medeiros, and he is 3-2 and two with a 462 earned run average. And we are going to be sending Johnny Brito out there, who you can see is not hot. And he is 1-6 and six with a 781 earned run average. So it's going to be uphill sledding here. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I mean, we might as well be trying to sled uphill. Um, and then here are our um, the uh, notes that we have in the email box. But um, we are going to get started with this. We're going to play the game against the Padres. So, I have to, obviously I have some work to do here. I'm missing a position player. Let's see, shortstop, do, 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 what do we got? Second, first, third, shortstop. We've got the DH. We have right and center and left. I don't know. We're missing a catcher. So, let's put uh and henry davis is just about worn out and see this this is what my uh, general manager always does to me because again i'm just the manager of the team but what he always does is he leaves me with only one catcher i only have one catcher on the team and if in this case that one catcher is henry davis and he is just about done you know as far as his um you know, whatever, he's he's tired, exhausted, he's, you know, nagging injury, whatever it is, there's always an issue. So I am going to put in Gavin Cross, because I have, I have to put somebody in, and he's not giving me a backup catcher. So we're just going to put Gavin Cross in there. I mean, you know, we're a terrible team anyway. So I don't know how bad that really is that we're doing that. And then we are going to start the game with Johnny Burrito pitching. And uh, let's see. Hopefully that does not continue the view in the stands there. I didn't really like that. And we are taking the tour of our ballpark and then closing in. Let's close in on the field. And uh, pitch to the batter. All right. Obviously, they're not they're not showing. And this is I've got to fix this. I thought I had already fixed this, but we're gonna go um, initial camera view, and we're gonna go. Uh, so we're going to go center field camera. <coughs> no, no, we're not going to do that. There we go. All 
All right, so this is the view I want. And, God, did it again. And there's a base hit by the Padres. I can see that through the uh, illuminated guy. All right, we've got to fix this again. Um, initial camera view, pitch camera view. We're going to go center field camera. Hopefully this fixes this. No, no, no. And I don't know what happened. All right, so we're going to have to... I, I apologize. I thought that I had already fixed all of this. Um, initial camera view, pitch camera view, um, c center field close, and um, let's see if we've got anything else in here. Dynamic action camera, and then we will, let's see. Hopefully this fixes it. But anyway, the Padres got no runs, which is good. And uh, we, our first guy struck out, and uh, that brings up Bobby Witt. There's one down. Bobby Witt is up. And again, this is I don't like this view. I don't know why they insist on giving me a view from the stands. And that's a strikeout. So there are, there's, okay, all right, we got to get rid of this. I, this is really unbelievable. I thought I had fixed all of this. Pitch camera view, action camera view, we're going to go, let's go home plate camera. Yeah. All right. Well, that's better. That's much better. Yes. Okay. So I think we're I think we're good now. There are two down here in the San Diego second. So Brito is pitching well so far, and he's going to flip to uh, the uh, first baseman's going to flip to him for the third out. And now we are up with Juan Soto at the plate. And Juan Soto is going to fly out to center field. There's one down, and Caden Wallace is the batter. In a nothing-nothing game here, and he strikes out. And uh, Victor Medeiros, I've never heard of this guy. Maybe he's actually on San Diego. I have no idea. And that's going to be a deep fly to left to uh, right field for the out. And we're going to the top of the third inning. And uh, Brian Belavas, the left fielder, is up. And Brito will deal to him. And uh, let's see. Was he safe? He was safe, it looks like. So he beat out the throw to first base. Um, I, not surprising because I don't have a real catcher back there. And then uh, the next guy laid down a bunt, and we got the uh, runner at first, and so the um, or the, the we got the hitter, and so the runner at first moves to second. And then we have a ground ball to the second baseman. Now I've said I said last year before this, or I said last in last during last season that I was going to. Um, make myself the general manager and manager of this team. And I didn't do it. I kept myself as manager one more year, but I think I'm definitely at the point where I have experimented with other seasons, other out-of-the-park seasons where I'm the general manager. And I think I would be comfortable enough right now being the general manager and manager of the team, but I'm not going to do that in the middle of a season. And we get a uh, fly ball there. To left. I'm not going to do that in the middle of a season. I'm going to let the season play out. Um, I, I've done some research online and found out that you can be fired, and I do have myself as being able to be fired. However, um, uh, what I also took from a lot of the, the uh, stuff that I looked at online, and that one is going to be off the wall. 
a lot of what I've read online makes it seem like you've really got to have several bad seasons. Like, we're only in the third season of this um, playthrough. So, I don't think I would be fired after this season. As bad as it could be, and as bad as my overall record might be, I don't think they would fire me after this season. Um, so I would probably get at least another one. And then I would become the general manager, and then we could, um, you know, hopefully fix even, you know, minor thing. I don't know if I could make better deals because, you know, this guy did get me Juan, uh, Juan Soto. I don't know if I really would have been able to swing getting Ron, Juan Soto. But just little things, you know, like little annoying things like not having two catchers on the roster. And there's a pop-out to second base for the first out of the bottom of the fourth. We're still tied here with the Padres. And uh, after getting all the camera views fixed, hopefully they stay fixed. Um, Gavin Cross, who is the catcher today, even though he is not a catcher, and um, I, if you saw um, any, you know, previous seasons, usually it's um, Maselvi who is the catcher, but he's on the injured list right now. And so in the past, I would make Nick Lofton the catcher whenever Selvi couldn't play. But um, Nick Lofton was like some kind of injured or... Um, unavailable or nagging injuries or something going on with him. So I couldn't make him the catcher because um, I wanted to stay consistent. You want to stay consistent and then maybe the computer makes that guy into a catcher. Uh, but that is not what happened. We've got a guy aboard, but now there's going to be a double play. Yeah, So there's two down. We're just lucky that we're in a 0-0 ball game here, although we don't have a hit off this Maderos guy. And there's a strikeout. So they continue to shut us right down, but Brito is actually pitching out of his mind for as bad as he is. I mean, you know, he's right now, with as good as he's pitched this game, his ERA is still 7-10 on the season. So not very good. He walks a guy there, but um, that'll, that'll bring up Michael Bush. And, uh, yeah, the non-catcher made a looping rainbow throw down to second to try to get the runner. And now he's going to try to throw the guy out. He does, though. <laughs> well, thank God he did that, at least. So there's two down with a man at second base. And... Uh, there, that's going to be a pass ball that allows a runner to move up to uh, third. And Jackson Merrill is going to line out to second base. So we stay in a 0-0 ball game, although I don't know how much longer Brito is going gonna, is gonna to have, how much gas he's got in the tank. Medeiros is going to be dealing to Henderson, or Hernandez here, sorry. Hernandez is out, so there's one down, and that brings up MJ Melendez. And MJ Melendez is going to ground out to second. So the no-hitter is still in effect here, and uh, if for no other reason you want to stay tuned just to watch you know, this no-hitter and see when he gives up a hit. He hit the batter there, so we have a man aboard with Michael Massey, the batter. He's one of our better players, and that looks like he just went yard. He did some yard work. And so now we have a 2 nothing lead. There goes the no-hitter. There goes the shutout for Medeiros all in one swing of the bat by Michael Massey. And so we are ahead 2 nothing, And um, Bobby Witt Jr. is up, and we're headed to the 7th. Now, I'm going to try to get Brito through the 7th because... He seems to have the Padres number here, and you want him to pitch definitely as much as he possibly can. He's going to be facing um, Hei Song Kim, and he's got a, he's got enough gas in the tank to get him through the seventh, assuming he doesn't give up too many uh, hits and base runners like he just did there. So Kim got a double. He's on second with no outs. 
we're only ahead 2 nothing, so we can only afford to give up a run. And there's a pass ball that gets past the catcher, who is uh, Gavin Cross, who is not really a catcher, and so that's not surprising. There's a walk, so now there's two men on at the corners, and there's another pass ball. So there's their first, the Padres' first run. And meanwhile, Brito is winding down. That is going to be an out, though. So there's one away on that fly ball. And Kyle Isbell, who we used to have, he used to be on our uh, on our team, and so we know that he's not very good. And he's out, but he moves the runner over to third. There's a man 90 feet away. Brito just about out of gas. And that's going to be it. They're going to pass ball is going to allow the tying run. And Brito deals to the next batter, and that's going to be a base hit. So I guess that run would have been, he would have given up that run anyway. I'm just hoping he can get out of this inning. And it looks like he will. So we've got a tie game on our hands here. I am going to get somebody up in the bullpen. I'm going to get Lucas Jacobson up in the bullpen. And we're going to go back to the game action because Brito is just about done here. But we're in a 2-2 game. we got to concern ourselves with that. Gavin Cross, our catcher, has just gone shopping at the gap. He's got a double, maybe a triple. All right, a double. So and maybe it was worth it to have Gavin Cross at catcher for a game. Uh, and that brings up Juan Soto. Let's see what they do with him. Well, he just moves the runner over to third on a ground ball. Fielder's choice. So we got a runner 90 feet away now. Only one out. And Caden Wallace, who is a good hitter for us, is up. And as I've mentioned in other videos, uh, you know, other games that I've done this season... It seems like offensively we're fine. We're 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 decent. I mean, I I don't want to say we're good per se, but we are better, much better than we've been. And there's a walk. So now we've got runners at the corners, and Diego Hernandez is back up at the plate, and he got the ball through the infield for a base hit that scores the go-ahead run, and that's for some reason that's a double. No, and they got the guy out. Somehow they got the guy out. didn't even look like there was an out. But we did get a run that puts us ahead, and now I am going to bring in Lucas Jacobson to pitch. And hopefully he can hold the Padres right there. He only has to get through, well, at least one inning and maybe two. But he allows a base hit to left field, so that's not good. We've got a runner aboard for the Padres with nobody out and Michael Bush, the batter. He's going to ground it to second. Massey gets the out at second, but uh, there is no out at first, so it's a fielder's choice. Runner now at first with one down for the Padres. And that's a strikeout, so there's two down. Jacobson is one out away from getting out of the eighth. And that's going to be an out. And I'm going to send Jacobson out there. He looks pretty good. So I'm going to send him back out for the ninth. And Josh Hader is on for the Padres. With a, and they're losing by a run. They're losing this game. And they're going to send their closer out there. And that's going to be low for a walk. Which brings up Tommy Troy, the shortstop. And Tommy Troy, did he go deep? Did he go out of here? He went out of here. My God. Tommy Troy with a home run. We're going to win a game, people. It looks like we're going to win a game. I mean, I don't want to jinx myself, but it looks like that's possibly going to happen. And that's going to be a slow roller down to third, and the third baseman will throw out our base runner. There is one down, and Bobby Witt is the batter. And Bobby Witt is going to pop up. Bobby Witt is having a very disappointing season. 
as you can see, we will take a look at him. He is hitting 224 on the year with a 273 on base percentage and a 404 slugging. So, yeah, very disappointing year for him. There's two down, and uh, and we strike out that runner, that guy at the plate strikes out, but it's no big deal. We're ahead 5-2. to two. And uh, Jacobson's still out there. He has a 6.05 earned run average in 19 innings uh, pitched, but he had a very good eighth. Let's see what he can do here. All right, he allows a deep fly to left. That's an out. I'll take an out any way I can get one. There's one down with nobody on. And that's going to be an out to right field. Again, I'll take an out any way I can get it. There's two down quickly. And look at that ERA falling for Mr. Jacobson now to, at 585. And he deals, and that's going to be a pop-up to Massey. And I think we've got a win, people. Nice. So we are now 20 and 40, not 19 and 40 anymore. 20 and 40 on the year. We earn a 5 2 win against the Padres, uh, who are 32 and 29. So they're over 500. We beat a plus 500 team because Brito had an above average game for him. And so did Jacobson, for that matter. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is going to be where I'm going to leave you. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.